through a quick warning here with Hudson. We're going to be letting him outside of his crate the first time this morning. He's already got his e-collar on. I do have a leash here we're actually going to use for him. We can put it here. We're going to be putting a leash on him. That's what I'm going to encourage his owners to do for the first couple weeks that he's home. Um, when you let him out of the crate, making sure that the e-collar is on, turned on, make sure you put a leash on him. And what we're going to do is let him out of the crate once he's calm and relaxed. When I first came in here, he was sitting up, his tail was wagging, he was excited to get out. We want to make sure he's calm and relaxed and not, you know, anticipating getting released from that crate, not too excitedly at the very least. We want to keep him in a nice calm state of mind when we do this. So we're going to be releasing him from the crate once he's in a calm state of mind. So we're going to open the crate door up. And if we open the crate door up and he already starts to rush out, we're going to say nope and correct on the e collar. Give a little correction. Now we can open this door up. Maybe. And we know he's going to stay laying down there. We've taught him to do that. He knows that that's, he's supposed to stay in there until we either release him or recall him. And so what we could do here is we could give him his release command. What I'm actually going to do is recall him most likely. So I'll recall him and tap my tone button here to get him right in front of me. And then I'm going to get him to sit. He's probably going to do a stretch. We'll let him do that and then we'll get him to sit. And then we'll wait for the next command. So we're going to let him sit and then we'll put the leash on. You could even put the leash on him now. So we have that leash on. The leash going on is not permission to get up. If he was to get up there, I would say no and correct on the e-collar with the stimulation. It's at a level 10 right now. We'll see if that's a high enough level for him in this state of mind right now. So what we can do here is see if he's going to anticipate getting out. So I'll say his name, and what we should see is him possibly try to dart out, or if he's done his, you know, if he knows what he's doing here, he shouldn't try to get out unless we give a release command. Down. So that's what I want before I release him, right? So Hudson, good. Come. That was good. I said his name. He didn't break. That's it. He wasn't anticipating it. Good morning. Then you can say good morning to him, right? Yeah, good boy. Nice and calm. And then what we'll do is we're going to heel sit. Gets a correction for breaking that sit. I said sit, tapped on the e collar. You can say nope and tap the e collar there as well. Now he might lay down here, that's okay with me. What we're going to do is heel him out of the house. We're going to heel him to the back door. And then we're going to let him sit at the back door and wait to be released into the yard. That's where you can go potty. He's going to go hang out with Dom for about a, you know, 20 minutes or so. And then we're going to call him back into the house and probably take him for a little walk from there. So we're going to film this process here of healing him through the house and show you what this should look like. So right away, right here, heel. Call him into that heel position. Good. We'll have him sit at stairways. Sit. We always make our dogs sit at, sit, sit at stairways. That's a mouthful. Uh, we don't want them rushing up behind us, trying to trip over us or us chasing them up the stairs. So you could either heal him up the stairs or you could walk up the stairs, have him wait at the bottom and then release him up the stairs and then continue walking. I'm just going to heal him right now. So we're going to say heal and tap our tone button. Heal. Good. If he gets ahead, if he starts to pull on the leash, that would tell me he's trying to get ahead of me. I would say nope and tap on my e-collar and correct. So again, another set of stairs. Sit. We have a lot of these. Heal. Good. So there I felt a little bit of tension on the leash. I gave a note and a tap on the e collar. I don't I didn't actually tap the e collar there because he came back right away. Heel. And this is what we want him following the ocean. Sit. And then we want some eye contact. Nope. Don't want him anticipating being released from that door. We don't want him rushing out just because we're stepping out. We want him waiting calmly. That's it. Nope. So right there, I said his name. He got up. That's not permission to get up. Me saying his name just means I want his attention because he's going to get another command. It doesn't mean get up and get excited. Hudson. Down. So you can tell he struggled with that one. He thought he was going to get a release. Instead, I gave him a down. He tried to move forward for a second, thought about it, and then wasn't exactly sure what to do. So I tapped the e-collar and he laid down. That's going to get a release command. Had some break. Good job. Good job. Let's take the leash off. Nope. All right, we're just coming back inside here from our uh, one of 
potty session, did a bit of obedience training assigned to with Hudson. So we're just going to be letting him inside. Same rule applies at every doorway. We can sit and wait for release. We want eye contact. We don't want him sitting at the door looking past us or looking around behind him. So what we can do here is recall him into the house. Hudson, come. Hudson, come. Good. Sit. So he kind of ran past me towards the kitchen counter, so I recalled him back over to me. He likes to sniff around underneath the ca kitchen counter area, so I recall him back to me. If I do see him sniffing down there, I'll say nope, and I'll give a correction, and uh, that's how we'll solve that. So what I'm going to do here is heal him over to his place bed. We're going to go into the living room, and I'm going to put him on his place bed, and that's where he's going to hang out, and then you know I'm going to go about my morning while he's on his place bed, and that's where he's going to be expected to stay for probably the next half an hour, hour. I have to go let another dog out, so I'll probably go do that while he's on his place bed with Julia watching him. And uh, that's going to be his morning, and then we'll get him out for a walk after that. So, heel. Again, under command, right? Following to the house, not making his own path, making his own choices. That's the place. Good. Down. Good job. And then what you could do is you could use a, a, a leash or something like that if you want to back tie them. We actually have little eye hooks here down in the floorboards, the baseboards I should say, as well as in the walls over here. So we can attach a leash to its collar and hook the leash up to these eye hooks if we want. And that's a great way to keep them secure in place, especially if we've got company or something over. Now with that being said, he's solid on his place bed, so I'm not concerned about it here. But it's definitely something we're going to encourage his pet parents to do at home is to tether him when he's on his place bed, especially for the first little bit. So... That's going to be our morning with uh, with Hudson there. Again, instead of going out to the social yard and doing uh, obedience work like we did, you could certainly take him for a walk right away first thing in the morning, which is typically what we recommend our clients, especially if they're working. Um, taking the dog out for like a 30-minute walk, we're going to do that in a little bit here with Hudson. And in the meantime, he can hang out here. But if you're going to go to that, for that walk first, then you just bring him back and put him on the place bed too. Not a bad idea to use the place bed before your walk even. So, you know, if you get up in the morning, let him outside to go potty, put him on the place bed, make your coffee or whatever, and then go for your walk. It's going to put him in a much more relaxed state of mind instead of letting him out of the crate, hooking a leash on him and heading out the door. So that's something to keep in mind. That's something you can try at home. And that's what we would encourage with, with a dog like Hudson. But the big thing here is keeping this calm state of mind, keeping him under command and these commands the, the, the state of mind is attached to these commands, so when, when he's in these commands, he's also in the state of mind. So that's kind of how we make that work. So that's the morning here with Hudson, and I hope that video, this video will help.